Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, A Square Made Mass Made Easy. A Square Mass What Made Easy. My today video, I'm going to be solving only but questions. And the questions that I'm going to solve is on set theorem, which is what? Venn diagram, which is what? Venn diagram. Now, we want to know the fastest way or the simplest way of solving a particular problem that has to do with objective. And once you look at it, the answer will appear immediately. I want you to take a look at this Venn diagram. Oh yeah, let's go. I said, let's dissolve. Let's what? Dissolve. Now, the question says, in a class of 80 students, every student studies economics or government or what? Both. Now, if 65 students study economics and 50, 50 study what? Government. Now, the question is, how many study both what? Subjects. Now, listen. The key word there is what? Both. Just underline the word what? Both. Now, the question is, what is exactly the meaning of both? It is intersection. That is the common element that exists between the two words, set. Now, anytime you are looking for both in a Venn diagram, this is the formula. Watch. Remember, there are two things, econs and what? Government. The cardinality of the student that study econs and the means what? Both. Government is equal to the cardinality that study econs plus the cardinality that study what government then minus the cardinality of the universal word set are you there now if that is done the next thing is to fix those things one after the other the first one we are going to do is to know how many study accounts now from the question let's go back it was observed that 65 students study what accounts i'll now put here 65 are you there now then plus then it was also observed that the number that study government, look at it here, is how many? 50. Are you there now? I'll put 50. Then minus the universal word set. The universal set is the first weight there in a class of what? 80 students. Are you there now? So I will now put here what? 80. Can you see that the answer have already what appear? Now, what do we do? We now add 65 plus uh, 50 is what? 115. Then minus what? 80 will give us what? 35. 35 students. Now let's observe uh, the option. Did we see anything like 35 in the option? Yes. So which means the correct answer there is what? Six. C. Am I communicating? Now watch this. I will say 65 plus 50. Are you there? If you add this, it will give you 5. 6 plus 5 will give you 1. 1. Are you there? Then I will now minus it by what? Minus it by what? 80. Are you there now? So this minus this five minus zero will give you five. One minus eight cannot borrow one from I'm making it eleven. Eleven minus eight will give you what thirty-five. So which means the correct answer in the option is option word C. That is a shortcut of solving both. But some people may ask, how does this thing exist? Now I want to show you the normal way by which you can solve this. So let us now verify it and know whether what we solve is exactly what they ask. Are you there? I want you to watch. Can we dissolve it now the other way? Oh yeah, watch. Now, the number of the universal set, remember, is given as what? 80. And the number that offered a cons is given as what? 65. Are you there? And the number that offer what? Government is given as what? Are you there? 50. Then we are looking for the number that offered a cons and what? Government. It is not yet known. Then call it what? X. Now, you should observe this. This 65 in a cons and 50 in government is not the exact number that offered it. Are you with me? It's just an assumed word number. Now, how do we get the exact number? Look at the secret. Go to the value of the intersection of the two ring, two sets, and it is given as what? X. Now, in each of the set now, go there, introduce minus x to a cons, introduce minus x to what? Government. That is all. So what do we do? We now summon the whole thing. I remember when you add one, two, three, it will produce the universal word set. Then let's bring out the formula. The number that of, of the universal set is now equal to the number that offered a cons only, this time around, a cons what? Only plus the number that offered what? 
government only, then plus the number that offered what it comes and what government. Are you there now? Now, what is the universal set? Hope is 80, right? Then equal to what is the number that offered a cons only? It is 65 minus X. Are you there? Then plus the number that offered government only is what? 50 minus X plus both. That's what we're looking for. It is what? X. Can you see that with this now we can get the value of what? X minus X here. We cancel plus what? X. Then what is remaining? 80, right? Then equal to 65 plus what 50 we give you 115 are you there minus x minus what x so what is the next thing we do collection of like terms carry minus x this way it will now become what x are you there then equal to 115 then this 80 will move to the right it will give you minus what 80 are you there now when you minus it now what will be the answer hope is 35 can you see by justification we have gotten it as also what? 35. Have I made myself clear?